Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Today, I want to be able to show you how CarQuest Pro is fully integrated inside of TechMetric, how to get it set up, and how much easier it is for shops to shop for their parts once it's set up. Now, first things first, I need to make sure that the integration is turned on. So I'm going to come into my shop settings. I'm going to come up here to the integrations tab, and then I'm going to scroll down until I see the CarQuest integration card. From there, I simply click manage. Now they can select the vendor that they already have set up. Obviously that would need to be the CarQuest store that they purchased from. From there, they need two things. The account or customer ID number, and then two, an account key or an SMS key that they can copy and paste into this field. Once that's done, they simply click verify and save. That's it. It's a one-step setup. What this does is it turns on the CarQuest integration for anybody that's logged in to that shop inside of TechMetric. They do not have to log in any, every day. They simply can open up the estimate screen and shop CarQuest parts. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Now from here, I've already got a repair order started with my good friend Autobahn. Inspection's already done, and it's time to go ahead and build the estimate. When I click on this RO card, it's gonna take me right into the estimate screen. You can see that I already have a few things on here from wiper blades to a fluid exchange, but I do wanna get a quote built for this failed alternator. So I'm gonna copy this down to my estimate. And when I come down here, I can rename this and say to replace the failed alternator. And then from there, I need to shop for my labor as well as my parts. Now we have a built-in labor guide, so I can look up the labor right here on the alt by searching alternator. I can add that, and just like that, I've got my labor added to this estimate with my labor rate and even my labor matrix. Now it's time to shop for the part. Click on add part, and then right down here, it says add part from CarQuest. Once I click on that, it's gonna open up a new tab. It's already got the VIN number brought over with it, so I simply need to start searching for the part, click on alternator, give it a good search. Now, notice that this looks exactly the same as the CarQuest Pro that you're used to. We didn't reinvent the wheel, we simply created a punch out that opens up that shop's CarQuest Pro with their credentials, brings the VIN number over, makes it that much easier to shop for the parts that they need. So now we'll come down here, get the 145 amp new alternator, and I can add that to my cart. Now once I go to my cart, I have two options. First, I can check out, or second, I can transfer the cart. Now we're building an estimate, so I do not have approval to replace it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit transfer cart. What that does is it pushes that information back in to TechMetric. I've got the part name, the part number, and the brand, assuming it all comes over with it. I've got my cost. I've even got my default parts matrix already applied. Since my labor's already there, I can hit save. Now, I've got this estimate fully built. You can see that my part is quoted. You can even see that this part carries a core charge along with it. Now, this is ready to send off to a customer. You can call them, you can email them, you can even text your customers these estimates. But let's say that customer's standing there in your lounge. You can click approve, you can come here and approve all jobs, or you can approve or decline one by one. The customer can even digitally sign and then authorize the total amount for the repairs. And then from there, it's just time to go ahead and get those parts ordered. I can come back up here Go into my parts hub, and under my quoted parts, there's the alternator that I quoted from CarQuest. And with just this simple click, I have now submitted the order through the integration, pushing it back to my local CarQuest store. I don't have to go back into CarQuest Pro. It has already been ordered with this two-way integration. Now, once that part arrives, I can come into the order slash receive portion of my parts hub. I can click mark order received. I can even notify my technicians via text that that part's here. Click received, and at that point in time, it's time for the technician to go ahead and get started on that repair, hopefully get it out as quick as possible for that customer. 
Hopefully, this gives you an idea of how to turn the integration on, how much easier it can be for your shops to look for parts in their CarQuest Pro with their credentials with this integration inside of TechMetric. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.